It's my birthday today. I'm 47 years old and I thought I'd treat myself by starting up a new vlog on YouTube. Up till now most of my channel's been about allotment gardening and it's still going to be about allotment gardening but I'm just going to add other elements into the into the channel as well. So this is vlog number one, 31st of March 2024. Happy birthday me. I've been following my channel for a while. You'll know that I got made redundant at the end of February and it's been, well, pretty much a month since I've been made redundant. And since then I've been doing a few YouTube videos, mulling about, trying to work out what to do. And to be honest with you, I haven't really got that much further. The one thing I will say is though, I've definitely settled down into the life of redundancy way better than what I had done a few weeks ago. If you'd have watched a video I did about a month ago, I think it was the day after I'd got my over done. I knew it was coming so it wasn't a huge shock but yeah I was just really frantic and manic about the whole thing. I've calmed down a lot now and I'm not really in much of a rush to consider what I'm going to do next. But I'm going to do a lot more YouTube videos. Joey, miniature poodle, two years old, absolutely obsessed with the ball. He drops it by my feet all day long. And I'm forever spending most of my evenings sitting in the couch, launching the ball back for Joey over and over and over. Go and get your ball, go on. And it's not that I'm miserable at all, because I'm not, but I hate my birthday. I hate the attention that it gets. Luckily, no one really seems to care anymore. When you get a bit older, you try and sort of brush it under the carpet and pretend it's not happening. And that's what I'm hoping is going to happen today. In fact, I thought I'd treat myself down to a little walk down to the allotment this morning, just to have a look what's going on this time of month, sort of get out of the house for half an hour or so, so sit down there, see what's going on. There's dinner in the yard, out behind the car, tonight we're gonna do something different. Lovely birthday breakfast treat from Sarah, so bacon and blueberry pancakes and I've come down to the allotment plot now and just want to take a look at some stuff that I left in the polytunnel yesterday and I know it's not that warm so I just want to see how they've got on overnight so let's go and take a look. I'll make the things that I know how to make you will make something more delicious the 31st of March today and I probably have jumped the gun a bit but I could not take having all my plants and everything on the windowsill at home anymore they were getting knocked over and I just thought I'd try and bring them down here and try and shift myself into the sort of spring mentality but I do know that hasn't been that warm although the temperatures are getting warm in the day but they're still getting quite low at night <laughs> Do you know what? They're actually looking pretty, pretty damn good. Had a bit of an accident with some of my leaks. I think these are. I left them on the shelf and it must have blown in the winds and just knocked them onto the floor. So I've got that to tidy up. These here are the Ateneo originated in Morocco tomatoes I planted two slices of tomato in a tub <laughs> it's come up with two plants there so we'll get them on the go might be because you get a lot more light in the polytunnel that they've started to sort of come alive a little bit but pretty pleased about that but I do look round at the allotment plot and I think so much work that needs to get done 
right now. In terms of keeping things tidy down the plot and having everything organised, and this is about the most unorganised that I've had it in a long time. There's a lot going on. There's a lot that needs to happen as well. It's just finding the... I feel like it needs me coming down early one morning and just spending a whole day down here ticking off a list that I've made on my phone of all the things that need doing down the allotment plot. These are doing nicely as well, aren't they? Some spring onions that have come up okay over there. My succession plants aren't exactly doing that great. There is a lot, there is a lot that needs doing down here. And it's great because well, I love coming down the allotment and I've got the time and I just, yeah, I just I love. And I, might, I don't know whether I might do it bank holiday Monday, tomorrow, or maybe the day after, Tuesday. Might be a bit quieter down here on the Tuesday. As much as I've been social down the allotment, sometimes when there's people down here, you spend so long chatting that you never get anything done. So I might come down Tuesday and just go for a huge day on the plot. <sighs> but yeah, my tomato plants are definitely going to be here to stay. If the weather does drop quite low, I have got some blankets that I could bring down and put over my tomato plants. Do I bring my cucumbers down here as well though? That's the big question. Got loads of stuff though that I want to get planted. I want to plant some parsnips. I've got parsnips here, I want to get those into the ground. I've got some lupin that I want to plant on the plot as well. We've got loads of herbs, some Swiss chard, callaloo, oh, sh this goes on. Squeeze in though, I'll show you these. Look at these onions, aren't they doing well? Yeah, these ones over this side are doing particularly well, aren't they? Invested in a couple of big bags of compost. It's the cheapest compost that I could find on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Down here I've got some liquid seaweed. I love using the liquid seaweed because it kind of makes you think, you know, you're down by the sea or something. It smells really good, doesn't it? Uh, make sure it fits. It's all right. And it is, it is noticeably warmer in this polytunnel actually than the other one. I think I'm going to do my tomatoes in this one. Only because last year my cucumbers were really successful in the other polytunnel. My tomatoes weren't. So I know cucumbers do well over there. So I'm going to carry on with that trend this year with the cucumbers over there. And this one will give our tomatoes a go in. wander down to my dad's allotment plot see what's going on down there it is Easter Sunday and I don't know what surprise maybe I thought there'd be more people down the allotment plot it's pretty much lunchtime now not massive amounts of things going on here we planted some potatoes in here last week so we got our early well the second early spuds but I'm going to pick them as early as I think going in there and we've got these beds that I haven't put anything in yet. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put in them. It's like a red onion in there. Plenty of beds here to put some stuff in over the next few weeks. I'm thinking I might put some leeks in here because they're quite low maintenance, aren't they, leeks? So I can put them in, I can sort of forget about them and just let them grow over the summer and then pick them later on this year the potatoes are obviously pretty low maintenance so just keep earthing over the top of them but yeah the leeks that i'm growing in my polytunnel could be something that could come in here maybe some onions as well i guess just quickly show you the view behind the allotment plot over there tends to be some deer 
and one day I'm going to be down here doing a video and I'm going to get those deer on camera. I was thinking about asparagus in there but I've grown it from seed and it just hasn't moved at all. If it comes up maybe I could put that in there. I'm not sure. But this nice bed at the front where I'm thinking about putting some flowers or something in there. I could actually sprinkle some lupin in there, couldn't I? Just at the front of the plot, just make it look nice for the summer. Like I say, that allotment plot's quite low maintenance. I want to keep it low maintenance and easy and just let it tick over by itself if I can. People really getting out and about though in the allotment now. Whacking loads more muck down, creating their beds, getting things set up and ready for 2024. Let's sort of that roof up. I'm not sure if I showed you in a previous video, but my shallots are coming up nicely in these raised beds. Look, see, and they're coming up in this bed as well now, which is good. Rhubarb doing nicely here, and then over here in these sacks, which is currently my pride and joy, I've got my broad beans. And I've got some garlic doing well there. And then I brought down these plastic containers. I want to grow something in these as well. I'm not sure what. I'm thinking about having a big basket of spring onions and potentially some carrots in there. And then I don't really know what to do with this one. Also on my wood pile, and I'll tell you what, this is getting good YouTube content now. I've got a couple of those pallet collars, one there and one there. So I could potentially add two more raised beds onto my plot, just in this space here. It is dead space and I, they would definitely fit in there. So yeah, the allotment plot's looking pretty good. Just before I leave, Remember I got this comfrey given to me by another allotment here. Look how it's starting to come up already. I can imagine this is going to get really big over this part of the allotment plot. And you know, those lupin seeds, I've got some I've got space there where I could grow some lupin. Imagine lupin, comfrey, sweet pea, French beans. What an area that will look on the plot. So yeah, just going back to this whole new vlog that I'm starting up. So the, the reason being is that I've got quite a lot of stuff going on in 2024 in terms of things that me and Sarah are doing. We're doing stuff, we're do, getting a lot of hiking done. We've got a few trips away around Europe that are going on as well. Come on, hold a lot of plot. Sorry, sorry, that is. Perhaps the owners will be coming down when it gets a bit warmer. Well, I hope they do anyway, because I don't want to see that just get left dormant in 2024. But yeah, you may have noticed way, way long ago, way, way, way back, sort of end of last year, we bought a van that we were going to use as a micro camper. Had a few issues with it, blah, blah. Anyway, we've given the van away to a member of the family and we bought ourselves a new van. And this is our new van that we're using for micro camping in 2024. And check it out, isn't it beautiful? It's a Peugeot Partner Blue HDI TP. And if you don't know anything about micro camping, well, we didn't really know anything about it and we've never actually done it, but we've bought this van not only for me to sort of drive around on the daily, but in the back, there's like a little makeshift bed so we can sleep in the back. And then there's an awning that we've got that's going to come over the side of the van. So we can use it as kind of a little camping setup for weekend trips away. Ooh, look. See, we've already got it already set up. So everything is in here ready to camp. This box here flips out into a bed and into a seating area as well. And then we've got a couple of camping chairs and everything else that we need for camping in here. Cooking stuff in there. 
we've got loads and loads of space we've got loads of things set up for 2024 we've got we're going to the lake district so wants to do a run around the lake district in a competition so we'll be taking the van up there and staying overnight for a couple of nights we want to do Wales as well, want to go down south as well and Sarah's also talking about going up to Scotland for three or four, say three or four days, probably need a good week in Scotland because we live down here in the West Midlands, but I want to take the van away for that so there's all this stuff going on as well. It's kind of like a fresh start today, not only is it my birthday but it's kind of the first day of spring, the clocks went forward last night so I feel like this is the start of a new era this year we're kind of moving out of winter and i want to bring a lot more to the channel as well so hope you're enjoying the content hit the subscribe button leave a comment below let me know what you think and <laughs> i've got nothing more to say than well i'll see you in the next one